Good morning everyone and welcome to another beautiful day in lockdown. It's absolutely gorgeous today. Look at that. Stunning. So lucky to be here. Not for long though. We're moving out shortly. However, you don't need to know that. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about the next drawing task. Um, I've decided to do something with portraits this time round. Yes, Blue. Yes, Blue. We're going to do a portrait. Upside down dog. Yay. Got something wrong with your ear, darling. Yeah. So, we're going to go into the art shed. <laughs> the official name. Of the green name. Knock, knock. Okay, so we're going to go in and we're going to look at doing a portrait. Now, what you're going to have to do for this is you're going to have to take some photographs of yourself with your phone. But that's okay. I'm quite sure that's the kind of thing you guys do all the time. But what you're going to do is I want you to try and take a photograph of your face in profile. Now, I did loads earlier. I took about 20 photos. Um, and I want you to try and get good lighting on that face. So I went out into the sunshine and tried to get some good shadows and highlights. And it was easy, just held my phone, obviously selfie phone, away from you and then trying to make sure that your face is turned completely to the side so you've got a profile view, okay? Down the nose, mouth, chin, like that. You don't have to have the whole head, that's fine if you cut it off at the ear because you can obviously edit it and everything. I want to see the ear though. No curtains of hair covering ears, because we all know ears are hard to draw. I'd like you to try and have a go at the ear. So this drawing is going to take you a little while, um, and we're going to put some words into it. going to make it a little bit more imaginative than just a straightforward portrait. So just getting this right, hopefully that should be all right, and I can start drawing. So yes, take lots of photos. Um, different expressions. So here I did like a sort of shouty one. Um, and by the way, I'm willing to embarrass myself here, so you guys have just got to be willing to embarrass yourselves to yourself. No one else is going to see this, apart from the finished drawing that you make. Um, I will see it when you submit it through Teams, but I'm the only person that will see it. So don't get shy about it, just make silly faces. There's a shouty one, there's an even shoutier one. <laughs> Try and have the mouth open, and there'll be a reason for that, I'll explain later. Laughy one. Yes, that's me laughing. Uh... I don't know what that is. Inquisitive looking? Smiley one? Straightforward one? Okay. So there you go. Choose a face and start drawing. So I think I will go with... Uh, I'll go with that. No, that's a bit boring. I'm going to go with the embarrassing one, okay? Because if I do an embarrassing one, then you might be a little bit more inclined to do an embarrassing one. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here where the hair meets the forehead and we're gonna come down this line. Now it's a bit difficult when there's a background, all the trees and everything, um, but you just do the best you can. Just try and ignore all that stuff in the background and look at this line. So with any drawing, you decide where you're going to start. I'm going to start here. And then you need to start, uh, sorry, you need to decide where on your white sheet is the best place to begin that mark. So if we have a look here, that's, not quite halfway across the, the page but then again this rectangular format is not identical to this rectangular format this is a bit wider so you've just got to make these decisions as you go obviously if I start drawing that here I'm gonna end up going off end up going off the page there if I start drawing that here I won't have enough room for my ear because my ear will be way over to the right so just make an intelligent decision about roughly where you think it needs to be and the other thing is I want you to try and leave some space to the left hand side of the mouth because we're going to draw some words and some shapes and things coming out of here. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go around about here. Okay, so here's my forehead coming down. Now this is my the curve of, I suppose, the bridge of my nose. Comes in and then look at the angle of the nose. Look at this angle here. Remember we've done this before. Lie your pencil over the angle you're trying to get and then match it up over what you've drawn. Is that about right? So this nose is sort of, it's not coming down like that or like going up like that. It's, it's kind of going 
a diagonal, kind of like eight o'clock if it was on a clock. And all the while you've got to be asking yourself, how long do I have to draw before I have to turn? So look at the length of that and then where you turn for here. Now this, after having not much practice lately, is not that easy for me, but I think that's probably okay. Okay, so tip the nose and look how the top lip is directly below the tip of the nose. If you can imagine a grid on here, a vertical line coming straight down, touching the tip of the nose, coming down, touching the top lip, almost. Have a look at this. Straight down, touching the tip of the nose, straight down. Ah, the lip is actually a minuscule amount to the right. So imagine coming straight down, touching the tip of the nose, straight down, slightly over to the right. Okay, Mrs. Gidget's eyes are not working this morning. So there's the tip of the nose coming in and then the edge of the mouth or the um the the edge here of the front lip is slightly behind okay so i need to try and speed this up a bit for you guys so there's obviously a top of the top lip and a bottom of the top lip that's the thickness of the lip My teeth are sticking way out. I've got a whole free mercury thing going on here. That's fine. He's one of my heroes. In fact, I used to really quite like Freddie Mercury. Many, many years ago. Okay, so there are my teeth. And you can actually see the other side of my teeth as well. And then here's the other side of my mouth. Like that's, you know, this line that comes straight down here. In fact, if I look very closely, I think that's the edge of a tree. I think my mouth is actually doing that. 